So, if you're an avid Magic the Gathering YouTube watcher, you know that right now, all there is is Modern Horizon spoilers and uh, Oathbreaker. That's it. That's pretty much what's going around the internet right now for the Magic Gathering content creators. So I figured, why not do something else? Everyone needs a little break, you know, kind of just enjoy a good old regular video. Uh, just something different for now, and then we'll go back to maybe some Modern Horizons, boys. Just going to lift you guys up a little bit here. So... We will continue with Modern Horizon spoilers at some point after this. I'm planning on just doing a video with all the mythic rares and rares. Um, just because I missed a few days and I can't go through all those commons and uncommons and keep my sanity. So <laughs> we're just going to kind of do that. Jeez, my chair is so squeaky. All right, I need a new chair. All right, anyways. But yeah, so I figured everyone needed a little break. We're just going to kind of sit here and do a little face-to-face -face chat. So, before we hop into this, if you guys want to help support the channel, uh, you guys can check out the links below, once to my merch, which uh, is the best way to support the channel if you want something back for yourself. And there's also Patreon, best way to support the channel if you are looking to just directly support um, our content here at MTG, MTG Nerds. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's hop into this little break of a video here. I'm gonna pull up my phone because it is relevant in this. Now, before I start this video, I want to point out, none of this was promoted to me. I did not get told, hey, you shouted our brand and I will give you 30 bucks. You know what I mean? No, that didn't happen. None of that happened. This is all my opinions. And just kind of a sit down little like, let's chat about some stuff here. Um, because, yeah, you know, like everyone just needs a little break from the hecticness of... Uh, the Magic the Gathering Horizon spoilers and Oathbreaker videos. So, I figured today would be a good day, you know, just to kind of go through and... Sorry, I'm pulling stuff up on my phone here. I got a little distracted. Um, so, yeah, I figured today would be a good day just kind of go through and talk about some stuff here. Um, and, yeah, so let's do that right after I'm done clicking buttons here. Okay, sorry about that. So... Oh, I actually do name the phone, that's why I took it out. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about here is just, what do you guys use for uh, getting MTG cards, like singles online? Do you guys buy them off of eBay? Do you guys buy them off of TCG Player? Uh, if you don't know what TCG Player is, it's basically just, you can literally look up any card, and it's specifically, you can get like that card from millions of different people, whatever. Or do you guys use something a bit more smaller on the lower end? I use Card Sphere. Like I said, not a paid promotion here. Um, maybe in the future we will do a little MTGers X card sphere hookup, you know. <laughs> but uh, for now, it's just me. I want to talk about how amazing I like. I love card sphere. So basically, if you don't know what card sphere is, um, it's kind of a trading way of doing magic. My phone is gonna die if I'm not careful here so it's basically like uh, you'll put up your wants so as you see you can go I'm gonna try and do this as best as I can in focus here so I honestly have no clue if this is in focus but basically you can go to wants I hope I actually clicked the right button oh that's halves okay so you can go wants right and you can just list all the cards that you want for your decks these are my active wants right now. I'm just trying to figure, finish up a deck here. But you can list all these. The best part is, is you don't have to pay retail for all of them. What you can do is, you put it on there, and I'll just show you for example here. So, this isn't the best setup to do this kind of thing, but it's okay. So let's say you wanted, uh, let's say you wanted the new Liliana, okay? We all know this is a pretty expensive card, right? So if we go to Liliana, and we go to Liliana Dreadhorde General. So what I just did, it shows you all. So I just looked up Liliana. It had a huge list of all the card names with Liliana in them. You just go through, find the one you want, and then, or you can look up the specific card name. It's just easier to only do the first word. But uh, so as you can see, it shows you the card War of the Spark. And down here, it will show you the amount of trades in 30 days, uh, the amount of trades in 360 days, 
and the amount of users that have that many copies. So right now, 116 users have 138 copies. Uh, so, and then it will show you all the different printings of this card. So it's War of the Spark, uh, War of the Spark uh, foil, and then War of the Spark pre-release promo. So that's that. And then right here, so this is in the Explore page. Right here, you can see the one that's highlighted. It says Explore Magic Cards. Um, you can go and add haves or wants. So if I have the card and I'm willing to trade, even if you're not willing to trade it, it's worth it just putting it on here for future, uh, if you don't need it in the future. Uh, you can click haves, I have this card, and people, um, so the way wants works is you click wants, right? And so you can see here, we add the wants, and then you can add your offer percentage. That's the key part about this whole thing. You don't have to pay retail. You can offer, so this is a $25 card, you can offer 80%, which is somewhere around 20 bucks, I think. Um, so you can offer 80% if someone wants to give it away for 80%, you'll get it for 20 instead of the retail 25. That's the great thing about cards here. You don't have to pay retail. And sometimes it just takes some patience. You know, people, if you really need a card, you might do 90%, but most people do 80, uh, most people do 70 to uh, 85 I'd say that's kind of the common range and then you can kind of like alter it depending on how badly you need the card So like let's say there's an expensive card. You don't really need but you want it you could do like 70% to like 60% that's kind of where you can fall there and like for me if I put let's say Emrakul or Ulamog everyone knows Ulamog. It's like a $30 card right now. I don't know um, let's say I didn't need it, but I wanted it. I could do like 60% let it sit. And if someone gave it to me, great. If someone doesn't, I doubt anyone to, would give it to you for 60%. But the point is, you get it for cheaper. You know, it's just a good deal, you know. So yeah, you can do that. So it's offer percentage and then the quantity of uh, how many you want. And then you can set them to active or pause. So you can go back and set it active later. Um, tags, I don't use tags. I don't know what tags are for. Um, yeah, and then you can choose foil, non-foil, all that good stuff. And then your condition. So you can also choose the condition. The way it works is near mint is 100% of the actual retail. So you're offering 80%. Let's say you did 80%. You're offering 80% of the 100%. Or you could set slightly played and you get 80% of the 90% retail. Uh, and then moderately played is 75 and heavily played is 60. So that's how that works. And yeah, I love this because you don't have to pay retail for cards if you don't feel like playing play, paying retail for cards. And I mean, if any, I mean, to get magic uh, magic cards on sale, always the great best thing in the world. You know what I mean? So yeah, you can go have. So as you see, I have 601 cards loaded on here. That's pretty much bulk rares and some expensive mythics and stuff. And I started putting some uncommons and stuff on there. But I have 600 more cards, 824 card. Uh, dollars in value so I just loaded on a ton of cards I still I, I have tens of thousands to go through <laughs> but if I wanted to add all the comments and stuff and then so how it works is you can go to your send page so you have a send button right here and you can hide offers under a certain percentage if you're not willing to give any away for less than let's say 70 um, and then exclude packages under a certain dollar value because you don't want to send out a card that's 25 cents if you're paying 50 cents for a stamp, you know what I mean? Um, and a top loader and whatnot. Um, so yeah, then you save it and then you can see all the different halves. You can see people's different offers. So for example, this one, uh, someone wants to ferry Pruis uh, from War of the Spark for 20 bucks, so 81% of $25. And Sarkon Fireblood for 526, 71% of 742. So that's how that works. It's a great little, um, great best trading app out there. I think there's not a ton of people using it right now. I want to get more people on there because I think they deserve way more uh, people to get on there. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to show you what Cardsphere was. Maybe you would check it out yourself. Um, if you are interested, let me just find, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Uh, nope, this is not it either. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, 
here we go. So if you guys want to sign up, uh, there's going to be a link down below. You guys can just click that link. Go ahead and sign up. Um, 100% free to join and then you just kind of you can add balance the only thing I wish they did is that they had PayPal to put on money but then you have the fees involved and that kind of stuff I know how it works um so yeah that's pretty much it uh so the referral link is uh so you can get premium if you want it helps them as a company to help grow um so if you guys want to go check it out, make sure you check out the link below. If you want to check out my merch, my Patreon, um, check that out below as well. Uh, Cards Fear will be the first link in the description. So yeah, you guys can go check that out. It'll be cool. Um, there's also some cool stuff like vacation mode. If you're off, let's say you you live in uh, you live in Mexico and you're in Florida for the weekend, you can set it to uh, you can set it to vacation mode so that no one can see your offers. No one can, you can't, uh, you, well, you can still, uh, send cards, but no one can see your offers so that you're not, uh, receiving stuff when you're not home to say, cause the way it works is when you receive something, you go to your receiving tab. So as you see, I'll have a couple, uh, packages coming in here. So you can see this one was shipped out. This one hasn't been shipped out yet. Um, but as basically how it works is as soon as you receive it, you just click confirm receipt. It lets the money go through to the other person. You can also say like, oh, hey, I don't think this was quite near mint, even though I asked for near mint. It's probably more like slightly played, so I can message the person and be like, hey, look, I think this is slightly played. If you agree, great, and I just want a little bit less um, on the amount I paid, that's all. Um, so yeah, it's I love this. It's such a good community. Everyone is very honest on here. It is all honor system, but I've never been screwed over um, ever, and I've made a lot of trades in a lot of sense. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you want to go check that out, link is below. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you go sign up for Cardsphere. I love Cardsphere so much. Um, hopefully, we can do a little, you know what I mean, Cardsphere. You want to do the hookup on me, or... I got you. I'll promote you. I got you. I love your app. I've been using it since it came out, pretty much. So, yeah. And they have other stuff like news, like what's winning drafts, what's doing what, what decks are cool, what's meta, and stuff like that. Okay, anyways, you get the point. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, just a little talk day, talking day, and I will get back to you guys with some more very good content soon. So, thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.